Hey guys, Lethal Leslie here, and today we're going to be talking about the best armors or armored rigs you can get in Escape from Tarkov. Now before we get into it, I want you to understand what a good armor is. So I'm going to bring up an armor now and we're going to talk about it for a second. So you can see this armor here has 80 hit points. It's a level 2 armor and then it shows you some benefits or negatives that you get from the armor. So movement speed would be down 6%, aeronomics takes a 7% hit and change to movement speed takes a 3% hit. So is this armor a good armor? The answer is no. The most important part of this section is the armor class. This is a level 2 armor and that makes it really, really bad, meaning most bullets on the game are going to penetrate this armor no problem, go straight through to your flesh and cause you a lot of problems. So this is definitely not an armor you want to take in the game. Even though you're seeing these 80 hit points, I would avoid this like the plague sell it on, get a few rubles for it, and go and buy yourself something a little bit better. So hopefully that helps you understand what makes a good armor. You want to be looking at the armor class. The higher the armor class, the less bullets that are going to be able to get through it, therefore protecting you a lot more. And then, of course, the hit points are secondary to that. And then I would say third are the pluses and minuses you get down here. That there is the order in which you want to look at it. So let's get into it with our bargain basement armor and this is our choice here for the bargain basement armor it's the zook 3 press armor if i open it up you can see this one's got 49 out of 50 hit points it goes up to a 50 maximum and it's class 3 so it's not great it's very bargain basement and you are going to have to spend if you want good armor this is the only actual armor on the list i have here today i have two more armors come in which are both armored rigs which i think are way better value for money on the game so i'm going to put one armor in here to start you off if you are looking to buy one but personally i would definitely go straight for the first rig i'll show you in a second but some people obviously have rigs and they do not want to use an armored rig because then you can't use armor so this is the one i'm going to chuck in for you guys it is very standard it only protects level three minus 10 on the movement speed and then you've got five and four over here on the aeronomics and the change to turning speed it does have 50 hit points for this price of 49 as you can see on this one and it is around 30,000 ruples which makes it a decent armor but personally like I said I'd prefer to save that add about 20 25,000 for the next armor on the list and that is going to be the 6B 3TM 01M armored rig this is a really good armor for the price it's 54,000 here for a complete one it's 40 out of 40 hit points you can see it has 12 container size as well, which isn't the biggest, but it's not bad at all. Armor class is 4, and that's kind of what you want to look for, I would say, as a minimum. So you can see from the other armor here now, we've added around 20,000 to it, and we're getting this armor and our rig sorted at the same time. It also covers a slightly more area at the bottom here, so it actually protects you a little bit more. Less bullets are going to get through because of the level 4. It does have bad aeronomics, turning speed, and change to movement speed. There's no doubt about that. But obviously that is why the price is so good. I don't think the minuses here really outweigh the quality of this armored rig. It's a really good price. It's a really good armor. And this was the rig I was using at the start. I have upgraded to the next rig I'm going to show you now. And at 50,000 ruples, for me, this is the number one choice if you are just starting out. Now, for a slight step up from this armor and the armor that I'm using at the moment is the ANA Tactical M1 rig. And if I go to my character, you can see here, I currently own one, two, three, four, five, six of these rigs because I do swear by them. I am someone who likes to have multiple loadouts when playing the game so I can just load them in straight away. So the ANA Tactical M1 Armored Rig is definitely my number one choice when it comes to picking armor slash rig, I guess, in Escape from Tarkov at the beginning. It is going to cost you, as you can see here, 65 is the most it goes to. And it is going to cost you around 65, 65, around 70,000. Now, I think about it like this, okay? I'm going to show you another armor now that doesn't include a rig that is around the same as this armor right here. But before I do that, actually, I'm going to show you what you get from this armor. We're up to level 4 now. Oh, sorry, we were level 4 on the last one anyway. So it's another level 4 armor, which is going to protect you against a lot of bullet types. We have 65 hit points, which is a decent amount of hit points. This section here looks really nice. Minus 5, minus 5, and minus 10. It would be better if it was none there, of course, but it doesn't look bad at all. You're always going to get slight minuses in some of these with stuff like movement speed because you're putting more on your body. It's always going to affect it. So I think these numbers are really nice. And on top of that, I think the 70,000 price tag is really nice as well. It does fluctuate up to around 80,000 at times, but right now you can pick up multiple at 70,000 which I think is a right bargain and the reason for this is I'll show you another armor now that does not include a rig that is really good armor on the game as well but you just get the same thing for the same price 
So you can see here, this one comes in at around 70,000 for this armor. It does have slightly more hit points. Let's use this one as an example. You can see it has 68 hit points, so it goes up to 70 maximum. This one here actually has 65. This is kind of even a better example because it's almost bang on the same amount of hit points as the armor I just showed you. And this is 65,000 without a rig. So in my opinion, it's way better to go for the armored rig. You get yourself the rig and also something I didn't actually mention about the ANA Tactical M1. If I click on it now and go to inspect, you can see it has 20 slots. So it's actually a really big rig as well. So you have a lot of room to carry stuff. It also has a four slot on there, which I think is quite important. So you can put another helmet or something like that in there. It's a really solid rig, really solid armor. And it comes in at 70,000 and is definitely my pick for the number one armor and slash rig for Escape from Tarkov when you're starting off. I know you might be thinking some of these are expensive, but unfortunately for armor, they do not come cheap. Hopefully this video has helped you in some way. Let me know what you think of the armors I've picked and if I've missed any that you think are the best armor in the game in the comment section down below. If you liked the video, like the video, subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks for watching, as always, and take it easy.